Hi Exagon and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today we are going to discuss extracting cloud features. Inside the software, navigate to features, and then click on the extract from cloud. Inside of this, you have the ability to pre-select your features. So let's say I'm going to select a plane. And now you can physically just left click on the cloud surface and it will go through and extract that planar feature. Turn this, go to the front, left click. So there's another plane. Um, if you want to, let's say, extract circles from planes, click on the icon. Left click on the surface of the cloud data. And then we'll see those circles have been extracted. Rotate this around. If you want to do a slot. So left click nearby the surface of the cloud data of where the feature is located at. And then when you're done, just press enter. Next, you'll see in the tree that you have one feature that has a yellow flag. If you double left click on that, that brings up the properties. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to expand the feature down. Okay, and then we're going to see this circle nine filter geometry. So I'm going to show that. Now I can see where this feature is located in the main graphical view. I'm going to zoom in. And we can see there is some cloud data around it. So perhaps we need to increase the tolerance inside the properties or go to the advanced options. Inside of the advanced options, we have three different methods we can try. So I'm going to try thin, and then I'm going to try cross section. Notice that now the filter geometry is still showing valid. However, now we see an extraction cloud appear. So if I hide my line cloud and I show my extraction cloud, it will show the cloud data that it's using to extract that feature. Thank you for watching and we hope you were inspired.